Hello and welcome to my feature highlights in November with SAP Datasphere. Like in most months this year, we also delivered two great releases in November. Let's check out my top features. The first one, Confluent Kafka. As of the release 2024-23, you can now use Confluent Cloud and Confluent Platform and the corresponding connection type to add sources to replication flows. Earlier in the year, we already delivered Confluent Kafka as targets in replication flows, and this now closes the loop for end-to-end -end scenarios. So Confluent as a source supports the consumption of Kafka messages with serialization of type JSON or Avro that have a schema. You can configure the schema settings and the load behavior, and we have built in the automated flattening of nested structures. The second one, task chain sharing. You can now share task chains to other spaces where they can be nested in other task chains. This allows you to run tasks in multiple spaces orchestrated from a single task chain. This basically enables the creation of global task chains by collecting the task chains, for example, in a global scheduling space. In addition, you can also export a task chain from its editor to a seasoned JSON file, which can then be imported into another space or tenant. The third one, view analyzer enhancements. In our continuous efforts to extend the view analyzer, we now introduce persistency guidance and the explain plan integration as part of the view analyzer. The data persistence guidance feature provides concrete recommendations which views to persist for optimal performance, runtime and memory consumption. The goal is to provide readily available recommendations to optimize performance and minimize the evaluation time for the users. Moreover, for data modelers and data integrators, we added the option to generate an explain plan in the view analyzer in order to analyze the performance of a view and get a quick and efficient overview of your model. So, all in all, very cool features helping you to use SAP Datasphere way more efficiently. Thanks for joining me this month for the SAP Datasphere highlight overview. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates. Take care and see you soon.